I'm Kirsten Burwell. I'm a physical therapist here at Direct Performance, and today we're going to talk a little bit about pregnancy and exercise. Um, the guidelines now state that when you're pregnant, you should exercise. That includes if you were active prior to pregnancy, inactive prior to pregnancy, or even if you have gestational diabetes. Um, there are some contraindications to this that everyone needs to be aware of. So red lights or definite contraindications are more unexplained vaginal bleeding, ruptured cervix, cervix triplets or more than triplets, preeclampsia, placenta previa after 28 weeks, and uncontrolled gestational diabetes, hypertension, or a thyroid issue. Um, there are also some relative contraindications or what I would call yellow lights. And if you have any of these, I would just recommend getting cleared by your doctor prior to starting or continuing your exercise program. And these include if you've had recurrent pregnancy loss, are carrying twins and you're after the 28 week mark, if you have gestational hypertension, or if you have a history of spontaneous preterm birth, um, or finally, if you have malnutrition or an eating disorder that you're struggling with at the time. So if you don't have any of these, then exercise, or try to get as much exercise in as you can. A recent study has found what they believe to be the best type of exercise during pregnancy, and their recommendations include exercising at least three times a week for 45 to 60 minutes. Um, they want that exercise to include strength training, cardio, and flexibility or stretching. They recommend that you try to get the intensity between 10 and 14 out of 20 um, of rate of perceived exertion on the Borg scale, and they want you to try to do that at least 29 weeks throughout your pregnancy. So we have found that exercise during pregnancy can cause a lot of good things. So there's a chance that it can help decrease the weight gain during pregnancy, decrease the risk of gestational diabetes and hypertension, decrease the likelihood of need, needing a C-section, and decrease the risk of postpartum depression. It can also potentially decrease the length of the first and second stages of labor during pregnancy. All of that said, pregnancy is different for everybody and there's a lot of things that are out of your control so even if you do everything right there's a chance that your delivery will be traumatic or you may end up with gestational diabetes because some of this is just out of your control the child is in charge at a very very early time um, but your body is going through a lot of changes the baby is growing from I think the size of a poppy seed to a watermelon so you have to treat yourself as a pregnant athlete not as disabled but similar to how you would with an injury and modify and scale your workouts as necessary and that's where a PT can help um, we can make sure that you're modifying and scaling appropriately so that you might be able to exercise as best as you can throughout your pregnancy